Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays Neo Scavenger. Alrighty, so what's in queue for today? Well, let's take a look. Let's look at our status bar over here. We're hungry, we're tired, we're burdened, and we've lost some blood because we did take a little bit of a, actually not a little bit of an injury. We took quite a bit of an injury to the hands of this motherfucker, if I'm correct, or maybe some other bad mother. But we got jacked up a little bit, as you can see, right over here. We have a few cuts going on over here. Um. The refugee camp, which is what we're heading to right now, I could only assume that's where I should be heading to, is right there. It's not too far off from our current location. However, the hunger and the tired situation is really, really bad for us right now. I kind of want to go back and butcher this guy down for food. However, I'm not sure if um the... um I know I don't want to go down to cannibalism pat like I did last time because it fucks with your hunger meter. However, alternatively, I was also thinking that... I could eat some of the small pieces of meat because I've been told that, you know, if you do kill a human and you decide to eat them, if you eat the small pieces of meat, it doesn't really affect you. But I'm not sure if that's been patched out. Maybe the mod itself fixes that. Who knows? So I'm not going to, you know, rock the boat to say. But um, we are in a bad spot here, and I could only hope that we run into something we could kill and eat. That's not going to, you know, put us down to cannibalism pad. So I guess with only 1.70 left... We might as well start making myself downward to the refugee camp over here, and that's all the moves I can do. Yeah, the thing is that we're tired. We really need to get some sleep soon, and I think more than likely we're going to have to do that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Just dawned on me. Where is it? I want to say that I think I left my... I think I left my trap back over here. Holy shit. This guy is awake and naked and coming after me? Is he Is he still wants... Do you still want to fight? Is that, is that what I'm getting at here? Alright, look, I don't want to fight anymore. So, I'm just gonna... Demand your fucking surrender. Oh, you're not gonna surrender. He's charging at me. He is coughing up blood, he's in severe pain, but he still wants to fight. This guy is fucking the Terminator, I'm gonna say. Let me threaten him. Alright, he did book it, thankfully. He's in over there, hang out with that melon head. Yeah, you go with that melon head, right? Let me just end my turn here. I need to go back and get that noise trap. Melonhead smacked Bad Mother's leader lower chest with a punch. I think he just, that Melonhead just pretty much uh, ended that um Bad Mother's life right there, which is fine. Now, let me go into the camp menu. There it is. Alrighty, thankfully it wasn't too far from our location here. Let's uh, rearrange this really quickly and we'll... Oh shit, we have no room for it, huh? Are you telling me that you still can't stack uh, ashes? That's fucking bullshit if you ask me. Alrighty. We need to make a little bit of room here, because I do need to take this. That's going to be really important. I guess we'll do that. We'll do this. A little bit of, a, you know, reorganize is going to help us out. You know what? We might as well take these rags. Why leave them behind? And you know what? Newspaper. At the very least, we should might as well just actually break this newspaper down and make some more pieces of um paper so we can make more arrows, right? That makes perfect sense to me. So confirm and confirm. Thank you. Alrighty. That's going to be the most of our turns for this turn, however, which is really bad. But, hey, it's going to help us out, i got to imagine. All right, that could stack up pretty nicely. Can you stack up even more? You can. All right. I love it. All right, so that's about it. Oh, let's take this wood because we're going to probably use that to make some um, arrows as well anyway. Okay. So, um, again, we're burdened. We're tired. Should I rest here a bit? Would that be advisable at this point? I, I mean, we have to, right? Okay, you know what? Just in the interest that we have to. Seems pointless not to do it. Was I actually, wasn't I trying to get some sleep before this motherfucker came at us last episode? I'm going to say that's what happened. I have to imagine that's what happened. So let's try to sleep here. Uh, remember, we're at the insomnia trade, which is uh, such a pain in the ass sometimes. You know, it might be the last time I use the insomnia trade, honestly. I'm malnourished now. This is going really bad. Just, I can't even get a good night's sleep here. Just go to sleep. Come on, get well rested. There you go, there you go. Yeah! Alrighty, you know what? That's gonna be enough. Now, I am malnourished, so we do have the botany trait, so I think it's about time that on the way over there, we start thinking about um, using some of that. Oh, boy. Okay. So, I think we're ready to go now. At least our lost blood situation seems to be on the upside now. Did the melon head just put on clothes? Since when? Now, here's a question. Can I eat a melon head? I'm not sure if you can, but you know what? At this point, we gotta try it, right? Stranger. Wait a minute, that's not, the, that's not the melon head, that's a stranger. That's the melon head. Um... I might have just made a really bad decision here. You know what, such a bad decision, I'm gonna just switch over to my <laughs> pebbles and just sling at this motherfucker when I get the chance. So let me fall back for now. Uh, melon head. Uh, player falls back from stranger. Melon head tries to retreat from stranger but can't get away. 
All right, the stranger is fighting the melonhead at the very least. So hey, that's a little bit of um, yeah, melonhead. You go ahead and play the um, the bait part here, and I'm just gonna shoot this guy, and hopefully we'll attack him. All right, uh, I pelted him. I got his um, right leg, and melonhead is bruised as well. Okay, so let's just continue doing this right now. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Why am I really fighting him though? That's the real question. I'm not entirely sure. Melon had passed out, so this guy's gonna probably start coming back at us now, right? He's a bad mother, indeed. Uh, battered players, uh, player battered brothers uh, with a left leg, slung pebble. Okay, try it again. Mm, bad mother charges the player. Okay, he's coming at us now, which is a little bit terrifying, so let's just try to do a little bit of a... Okay, here we go, we got him. He's coughing up blood now, so that's really good. Is he behind cover? He is. Okay, at this point now, I want to say that we are gonna have to switch over to the sharpened spear. I'm gonna fall back one. And we're still in range, so now he's gonna try to parry me. Yeah, good luck with that. So now we're just gonna melee attack him. Uh, player tries to attack and missed. Okay, that's unfortunate. He's still behind cover. We're gonna melee attack him again. Alrighty, we got him. Uh, bad mother's in severe pain is having trouble concentrating. So he knocked out the melon heads. So at the very least, we're gonna find out if we can eat melon heads because at this point I just need some sort of fucking nutrient substance here. Bad mother's bleeding. Okay, so we're gonna continue just fighting him. Player scratch bad mother's lower right leg with a sharpened spear stab. He's dodging, he's bleeding, coughing up blood. Alright, so he's in a bad spot. And, uh, my spear just fell apart. Did he retreat from me? He, he totally booked it. You know what? I am gonna allow it because... Um, the melon head was our main priority here, right? So, let me just advance towards this man as much as I can right now. Uh, I should just drop my items and like dash towards him, huh? Melonhead is in severe pain, having trouble concentrating, unconscious. Alright, we're, we're gonna get there. I mean, I would drop my items right now and actually just um, run towards him, but I don't want to mess around. Look, I'm already tired once again. Fucking god damn it. Just can't catch a break here. Alright, first things first, though, as long as we take care of our um, malnourishment, then we could deal with the getting some rest. So let's melee attack him. Alrighty, so he's still there. Let me just keep punching him till he dies. Maybe he'll die this way. <laughs> there he goes. I think he died now. So let's uh, go into. Oh wait, there's two corpses here. So one of them had to have been the um, the bad mother then, right? I don't think he was able to. Or no, no, wait. There's two corpses because the melon had killed the first guy that was nude, and then we killed the melon head, and the other bad mother booked it. Okay, that's exactly what went down here. Hmm. Alrighty. So. Humanoid- Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The- the- the melon head doesn't work as meat? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Alrighty, well, I can't eat it. I mean, I I'm fucked. Alrighty, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say fuck it all this. I'm just gonna head towards the refugee camp and hope for the best here. Malnourishment is gonna kick our ass and so is the fact that I'm tired. I don't know, maybe I'll run into like a Bambi or something. Who knows? Let me switch over to the slung pebbles and we might as well um, equip some more of these pebbles over here because we're running relatively low on them. So we'll do that and that. Alrighty, so we have like 17 charges right there. Not too bad. Let's end our turn here. There's a bit of water there. Oh, god damn it. Now it's nighttime too. As if things can get any worse, what is this? Let's search. Nothing. Alright, I'm just tripping balls. Uh, let's end my turn here. Oh, I'm so... I'm so fucked right now. Like, I'm in a... The worst possible imagination right now. Let's end our turn here. No, thirsty. Everything's just coming apart. Let's scavenge a bit here. Stretch a forest? Sure, why not? We have to use botany at this point. I need to find some berries, water. That's fine. I'll fucking drink all of this at this point. I know I have, like, you know, clear water, but fuck it. Uh, and these are edible berries. So, yeah, just go ahead and fucking munch on berries, my friend. At this point, we need them. Edible red ones. Cool. They're not poisonous. Okay. Um... Slight bit of a um, upside to this. Thankfully, I did get the botany skill, so I should be using that more often than I am. I, I've gotten so used to never using it anymore because I haven't really picked it in any of my recent runs, so kind of forgot how useful it can be. So, obviously, let's end our turn here and let's scavenge one more time. There was a bit more of uh, forest here to scavenge botany, do this, and see what happens here. No items were found. That's really unfortunate. I'm still tired. Do we dare rest here is the real question. I think I have no choice but to do that, right? Didn't I have a, a noise trap? I could have sworn a fucking god had a noise trap. I left it somewhere, didn't I? Okay. 
Um, <laughs> go ahead and comment on that and um, let me know how much of an idiot I am. All right, so at this point, well, what do we do? We just sleep here without any sort of shelter or alertness. What can I do? I'm just wary. I have to kind of risk it now. Tire. Oh, we're getting some good rest, though. Oh, God, we, we did. Okay, malnourishment now might be a little bit more sustainable now that we have a, a good nice rest on us. So let's make sure that nobody's jacked this during the night. No, nobody did. Okay, so um, we have to end our turn now. Um, we're going to jump into this forest, and not something I want to do, but I have to do because, again, we're looking for some sort of sustainable thing to keep us alive here. Luckily, there's a lot of forest for us to kind of go through botany. Nothing was found on that one. Let's end our turn. All right, malnourishment. Just give me a second here. I'm trying to take care of you. I just need to find some fucking berries, man. Oh, God. Really? We're going to play this game now. Oh, shit. Is this the guy that ran off from us earlier? If it is, then I feel inclined that we should go after him because he should be in the verge of dying. And Okay, good, good. What do we have here? Dead cab, don't eat that one. This is edible, though. So, let's slowly get... Oh, nice. That's a good supply of berries. So, let's just munch down on this and actually get rid of our malnourishment to a degree. That's enough. I'm going to get some water. I know it's not sterilized, but at this point, I need to really take the risk. So, good. We were able to take care of this to a degree. Now, this motherfucker here needs to go down. Um, since we're rocking this piece of fucking stick, because uh, our thing run down, let's actually put the hatchet on. We're going to combine this together. Okay. And uh, we're going to go bam, like this. Alrighty. Alright, you piece of shit. So me and you now. We're going to do this shit. Do this for John Madden. He's starving, though. So you know what? He should be a little bit weak, I have to imagine, right? So right now, we're going to do this shit for John Madden, we have some pebbles, and we're just going to fling the hell out of this man. Or not man, but kind of like cowardly beast here. And he's dodging out of the way, so that's good. That's a good start. Let's do a range attack. And we're going to... He he leaps. He leapt away from me. And we're going to miss, so we're going to sling again. I feel like a gunslinger over here. What are you doing? I'm just slinging away, you know. All right, little buddy, come on. You just have to relax and let me... All right, I hit him. All right. You have to just relax and let me just attack you with these pebbles, okay? You're going to go down. And then we're going to eat you, and then, you know, the circle of life, alright? That's how it works, alright? I know how the pyramid fucking nutrition triangle works. Uh, human is on top of the food chain these days, so keep that in mind. He's just leaping away at me at this point, isn't he? Yep, dodging still. Alright, you, you're, you're, a, you're a fucking tough cookie to crack, so how about we ditch vehicle for now, and we're going to have to kind of rush at this dude at this point, because he's kind of getting farther and farther away, and I can't really... Have that happening, unfortunately. Alright, why are you being such a coward for it, you, you grotesque being? Since when does a creature of your fucking looks actually run away from a regular human? That's the real question here. Something wrong in society when this beast tries to run away from me. Okay, so... I feel like we should switch over to... Oh, you've got to be shitting me at this point, huh? Let's equip this momentarily. I, I feel like we have to switch over to the stone, so let's, um... Move this over here, move that over there. Fuck the pebbles for now. This could kind of go off now, and let's go over here, and pebbles again. You can go fuck yourself, you're not really doing much for me. So we're going to do this. Alrighty, we're going to go back over here, and we're going to rush towards him again. Alrighty. Player's carrying a heavy load at the moment. Yeah. Oh, that's because I'm struggling, I'm weary, huh? Oof, that's going to be really, really bad. Sling stone. Alrighty, let's uh, try it. We're going to do a range attack now. And obviously we fucking miss because I needed it to not miss. So I'm going to try this again. I I did something. I, I totally crippled his right arm. Maybe he won't jump that much anymore. We'll see. <laughs> Let's advance again. Um, He's crippled. Okay, good. Let's try it one more time. And he fucking dodged out of the way too. Alrighty, well at this point, I feel like I'm in no man's land and we have to take any sort of fucking measure we can take here. So we're going to start shooting him with the arrows as well. I have no choice but to do this at this point. If I don't get this kill, I think I'm going to be fucked. So let's do a range attack. Is he... He's not hiding behind anything. And he, of course he missed. Or of course I missed. He, he did a good job of dodging it. Alrighty, I cut his left leg with a simple bow with a broadhead. Alrighty. He's trying to retreat, but he can't get away. Let's try it one more time. And I got him in the chest now. Okay, so I'm out of arrows. Now I'm just... <sighs> Fuck. Can I charge him? I'm charging him now again. Now you're probably wondering why are you charging him with a bow? Well, I'll switch over to the melee weapon if we ever get close enough to, you know, fucking see him eye to eye over here. But at this point, it doesn't seem to be happening now, is it? Hatchet, you go over here. Um, you just put on the floor for now and... 
Pebbles, uh, <laughs> I know I bet. Actually, no, we have one more stone. Fuck you, Pebbles. Alrighty, um, charge again. Switch over to stones. Alrighty, charge again. Nine away. Sling a pebble at him. Is, is he hiding behind something? No, he's not. And he, of course, dodged it, because why wouldn't he? Why would something that I need to happen so much happen for me? Alright, let's do pebbles equipped and pebbles equipped. I said pebbles fucking equip, alright? There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Sling pebbles. Okay. Let's charge at him again. Seven away. Range attack. I hit him in the right leg. That didn't really do much for him, though. Try it again. Slung him in the upper chest. Fucking missed. He's getting further and further away, so we can't let him get too far off, too, because... Fuck it, you know, at this point, I'm just gonna charge him complete. Look at how tired my dude is. Oh, my lord, I'm gonna pass out. Alright, he's unable to move. He's carrying too much weight. Apparently, he's lost so much blood at this point. We're gonna be in the same spot really soon, though, um... Beast, believe me, if I don't kill you, we're in the same spot. So here we are, we're face to face with him, let's melee attack him. Okay, he passed out from unbearable pain. Now melee attack him one more time, and now he's fucking dead. Who is this guy? What does he look like a ninja? Is that a DMC guard? You don't belong over here, you belong on the other side of the map, my friend. Okay. Now. Holy shit, okay, we're tired as fuck. And the arrows are still here, they're the ones that I missed anyway, so... You go on over there, you equip over here, you go where you have to go, and now this piece of shit here and me are gonna have a few words if you, you know, wanna ask me, trapping. Give you a trap, motherfucker. And then we're gonna, I guess just cut him down with, I have like two of these, huh? 70 and might as well just use this one. Oh, thank motherfucking Christ, we have some food. I should have probably checked if we could have skinned him. Uh, I didn't really notice that there was an arrow there. If I, you know, missed it, <laughs> I apologize, but I have bigger fish to fry right now, which is actually taking care of this. I'm gonna pass out really soon, too. I don't like my chances right now, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you right now. Let me just end my turn here. Please, weariness, just hang out for a while. Just please hang out, okay? Don't do anything too crazy. I wish I had, like, some Coca-Cola, something that'll, like, you know, perk me up, like cocaine or something. Who knows? Coca-Cola, cocaine, same thing, right? Let's go into here, and, um, we need to start a little small fire really quickly. Lit. Okay, that's gonna be more than enough, so we'll do that. And not only are we gonna do that, we're gonna do a a stoked one as well, because we have a lot of meat to cook. <laughs> Story of my life, right, ladies? Uh, that's not true. Let's go ahead and, nope, we're not putting you off, so stoke clear. Clear that up. Now you can go away. And big fire, you come over here. We have the sticks for it, and now we're just gonna fucking cook the shit out of this thing over here. Now, I might pass out, but you know what? If I do die, I'm gonna go down as a fucking filled individual. You know, let's think of this as our last meal right now, if it comes down to it. Medium, confirm, clear. Nope, let's just stick to the fucking big chunks, alright? Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's eat one now. Oh, good god, that felt good. <laughs> that even felt good to me. Okay, sated hungers completely. Now... Since we are, we got that under control, how about we do this? Let's be logical here. How about we break down the campfire, get a lot of ash, and then we'll um, salt the rest of the meat and see what we could take with us. We can't probably take too much because we're burdened, because we're so tired. But we got to think of this logically. Let's think about um, the long case scenario here. Confirm, clear. Okay. Now we have this. Now mind you, we're going to have to now build another fire, but hey. So let's go ahead and do small campfire, clear that out. We have a few more moves to left, so let's not get too bent out of shape right now. So we have that. Now you go over there. Let's go ahead and stoke you with, you know, whatever is at hand in reality. Use another piece of wood, I don't give a shit. Confirm that, clear. This could go away. Okay, now you come back and we will do chunk of meat, chunk of meat, chunk of meat, and then we have these bad boys over here to kind of cure it. Let's not forget that we also need trapping. Try to toss that in there. Alrighty. Now let's find out how much the big chunk is going to actually take of this. Is it two? It's four. So we could do two of them. Right? No, it's only two. Excellent. So we're able to do all these bad boys. Excellent. Alrighty. So we have quite a bit of cured meat. Now the problem is, can we actually carry it? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to drop whatever I need to drop in order to carry this fucking meat. So we'll do that. And at this point, I think that we have enough for one more. 
as a matter of fact. I don't think we have the wood for it, though, right? No, no, we do. So, bam. Oh, we don't have the turns for it. Okay. And turn. Please don't pass out. Please, for the love of God, do not pass out. Okay, <laughs> he's still alive. He's still somehow trucking along. So, you go over there. And let's bring, um, this bad boy. This bad boy. And then one more of these guys should do it. And obviously we need trapping, and we need this dude. Alrighty, confirm, clear it up. Okay. Crisis may be averted, if I could, you know, be so blunt. I'm not completely sure about it, but we'll see. So the rest of this meat is basically out here in the land. You know what I'm gonna do, though? I'm gonna fucking destroy it, because you know why? I don't want anybody coming in here and having, like, you know, just their quick, you know, just desserts. Like, you know, I did all the hard work over here fucking hunting down his, you know... I, I, I don't know, like, anamorphic beast and shit. So fuck that. I, I killed it. I deserve the, the rewards, not anybody else. Now, this fire over here... I, I want to say we should, before we leave, um, turn it into more of this, right? So that we have some of it at hand for any sort of future predicament we're involved in here. So let's uh, take whatever we can, which is going to probably be four, maybe a bit more if I finagle my inventory around... Is that going to be good? Yeah, it's going to be enough. Alrighty. Part one done. Jump into the woods and fucking just sleep. I don't give a shit what's in these woods. Just sleep. Alrighty, if somebody wants to come and fight us in the woods, then they could fight us in here. But we need some fucking rest. And you're not resting. Here's another Lee Enfield horror. I hope those guys don't like let out like some sort of like, you know, dead cry like they're bees when they're about to die. Oh god, please get some rest. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Falcon, you might have salvaged the run, Falcon. We're no longer losing blood, too. Oh. No, there's still mild blood loss. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, do we rest a bit more or do we book it? I say we... Book it. I say we book it. Fuck it. Let's just go. Leon Field Horror is over there. I don't give a shit. I killed your... Oh. Not anymore. <gasps> Did I just leave something important behind? No, no. I have everything at hand. Yeah, okay, for a second there, I almost freaked. Okay, we're good. Let's um, end turn here, because we have no choice. Horror, go fight the DMC guard, okay? Yeah, DMC guards, please, shoo this man away from me, okay? I'm going to just walk into you. Deltic 1911 45 semi-auto. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to talk to you, right? Because we, we shouldn't be able to, you know, have to have argument. What is this? Was the 55 by the 2 -0. he stopped speaking into a radio disappointed at the interruption. What do you need? Um, what's the story with the swamp? What's the story with the swamp? Chemical wash, he responds quickly. Nobody's permitted down here. Highly toxic. Yeah, but why? Some cops got out of control back in the day. Had to burn them down with chemicals. I don't know why all of my voices sound that way, but, and Neil Scavenger, but apparently they do. His radio pipes up and he turns slightly from you, then he walks away speaking to the mic. Good. I don't give a shit, man. Leave me alone. I just wanted to have, uh, walk by without, you know, running into those, um... Enfield Horrors over there. Holy shit, am I gonna honestly survive? I... It's looking like I am. I am just as shocked as you guys are if I do survive this, and I... We should. We should. I don't know why we wouldn't at this point. Okay, we're four turns. We're still well-rested. We're a little bit burdened, but that's understandable. That's probably because we don't have enough rest on us still, but hey. Let me jump into this town, though, because I do need to scavenge for some... You know, something to help us out. Maybe even a shopping cart, God forbid. Found a few items and bottles. You know what? Bottles are going to be really important at this point. But we do need to make some little inventory management here. So how about this, guys? Let's call it an episode here. I know we didn't get too far ahead, but we actually, what we ended up doing this episode was just extending our run because it was looking like we were pretty much fucked at this point. And somehow we turned it around finally. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you guys next time.